Mate of mine, right? He always fancied going to Australia. And finally last year he went out there. I think he had family out there. Did he have family out there? Don't matter anyway. He's gone out there. <laughs> and while he's out there, he's fancied doing himself the old David Attenborough run. You know what I mean? Straight across the desert. So what he's done, he's bought one of those dirty great big land cruisers. You know the type I mean? Six wheels on it and radar and all that and roof racks. And uh, he stocks up with food and he's bought a lovely little fridge and he's filled up with cold beer and off he's gone. A day into the desert, what's happened? The fridge has broken down, hasn't it? <laughs> All his beer's getting warm. Nightmare! What's he gonna do? <laughs> anyway, by the side of the road there, he sees this Aussie fella. You know the type, bushwhacker type, corks round his out and all that. And he's talking to the Aussie and he tells him what's happened. Now, Australians, beer to them, it's like religion, isn't it? And this Aussie's gone, can't do the accent, he's gone, I, I tell you, man, I can make you a beer cold, man. <laughs> I can make your beer nice and cold all over again, man, right? <laughs> and he's dug a hole about a foot deep like that, and he's got one of the warm tins of beer, and he's put it in a hole. And then he's covered it up with sand. And my mate's thinking, what the bloody hell is this man doing? You know what I'm saying? And then he's put petrol all over the top of the hole. No, I'll tell you a lie there. He's put water on it first, then he's put petrol on it. Stand back, he's gone. Match. Woof! Like that. Anyway. Flames have died down, he's dug down there, he's took out a tin of beer, he's got to my mate, feel that. And was it cold? Was it? <laughs> Oi. I just know this geezer, right? Geordie, nice fella, builder, one eye borrow on the other. Anyway, he's in the pub one day, and this geezer comes up to him. Luigi, his name was, Welsh bloke. <laughs> African nature, web dance. <laughs> and he says to him, you. I can't do the accent. Look you, right? I bet you ten pound you can't balance this orange on your nose. Right? So Geordie tries it, rolls off, doesn't it? And Geordie walks out of the pub. Now, we've not seen him in there for ten years. And what's he been doing? I'll tell you what he's been doing. He's been practising, hasn't he? Every morning, orange on his nose. Every lunchtime, every evening, every spare available minute of that man's time, he's been practising balancing orange on his nose. <laughs> Ten years later, to the very day, he's walked back in the pub and he's bowled straight up to Luigi and he's gone, I can't do the accent. <laughs> Listen, Ray, I tell you what, right, how much you want to bet I can't balance this orange on my nose, yeah? So Luigi's gone, 50 notes. And they put the money on the table, governor's checked the orange, nothing wrong with that, and the old pub has fallen deathly quiet. You could not hear a pin drop in there. And old Geordie stood up all proud like that He's got the orange, and could he balance it? Could he f <laughs> Oi, you know I'm telling you about my mate, Mickey Lyons? Lived down the end of my street, end this house. Lovely bloke, always doing that. <laughs> Friggin' nature, no earlobes. Anyway, one day, he comes in from work, and there's a note propped up by the clock in the front room from his missus. She's left him. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. He smoked too much. He drank too much, he ate too much, he spent too much time down the snooker hall, he spent too much time doing that, <laughs> and he was too short. Well, Mickey Lyons was gay, he loved that woman, she was his life. Apart from the snooker and the drinking and the smoking and doing that, you know. <laughs> so, he vowed to get her back. I'll tell you what he'd done. He gave up smoking, he went on a diet, he gave up playing snooker, he gave up doing that, and he loved doing that, Mickey. <laughs> but the tricky one was, how to stop being short, <laughs> right? So what he done, he tried everything. He tried weights, he tried stretching, he tried lying on boards, he hung out of window ledges, he done bungee jumping, he done judo, he done ballet, he done a key down the back of the neck, he done glass water upside down, everything to try and gain that extra height. And could he do it? Yeah, he did as it goes, grew two inches. Did she go back to him? Did she?